Pentatonics is here. On it all new. Casey Undercover. <laughs> Baby metal cover. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It's like live yeah. music yeah. videos now. So you recognize those guys from Pentatonics? Yes. yes. We were encouraging them to do a cover of baby metal. Should they do it? Oh, yeah. If you could do a remake of any hit song from another era, what would it be and why? Um, I actually did a really cool remake just recently with the Pentatonics. Um, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this as of yet, but do da da do 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 da da do do do. Um, it's really cool and they're really super talented, and um, I think it's gonna be something real special. So look out for that. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching Ring of Fire featuring Pentatonix's own Avi Kaplan. What's up everybody, it's Todrick and today I'm doing probably the most anticipated collab of my entire life. My favorite two people in the entire world, I'm not talking about Beyonce and Blue Ivy, mm -hmm. I'm talking about Scott Hoang and Mitch Crossing, aka Hi! I would just like to say the hugest thank you to Pentatonix for even collaborating with me on this project. It was a dream come true and you guys are so ridiculously talented. If you don't already follow them, make sure you subscribe to Pentatonix channel as well as follow at PTX official on all social media sites. I haven't seen Kirsty obviously be Dorothy. She's one of the few friends I've never made dress up as this role. Bringing the Wizard of Oz to life is so awesome and somebody who's like so amazing and she takes directions so well and so fast and she's just been a, a friend of mine for a really long time and it's just a full circle moment and I'm just really happy for her because she's like the most humble person ever and she's never like I need to be the star it needs to be about me and it's just so nice when somebody that you know like really wants it and doesn't push for it gets it and she's just blowing it in and just makes me happy I don't know I'm just on cloud nine. You like pentatonics they said. I love Pentatonix. Let me tell you a funny story. One time I was walking down the street and Pentatonix saw me and they were like, oh my God, we love you. And I was like, I love you guys. They thought I was Leaf. Do you know Leaf the rapper? Yes, I do. And they were, they were like, Leaf. I was like, yeah. no. We were like, uh-huh. I was like, but I still love you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It was the, the two guys, the blonde and the and the lady. Scott and Mitch. <laughs> Scott and Mitch. The blonde and the lady. You the heard that, the Mitch? Was the one up in the, up in the, the, the stratosphere. Yeah. Mitch. I could just do a Christmas album. You could, acapella. yeah, acapella. Phil, new member of Pentatonix. Yeah. Although then it would have to change his name. Who's gonna say? I can't deal with this. Then add the sweet sounds of Pentatonix and Lindsay Sterling covering Radioactive. <laughs> If you need new music, get the new album because they are neck and neck with Demi Lovato. And Demi, I love you, but girl. Are we dating? Maya says, Are you guys dating or what? You all been mad touchy lately? We have been mad touchy lately. I think it was, it's just been documented. <laughs> Snapchat's just exposing us. That was. Way to dodge the question! Ah! Are they dating? I need to know! I need answers! I guess some questions will never be answered. Pentatonix! We are going to sing That's Christmas to Me by Pentatonix because it's an awesome song. Yeah, we really like it, and I can't play piano. And I don't know the words. Neither do I. Happy holidays. <laughs> is burning bright, shining along me. I see the presents underneath the good old Christmas tree.
Wait all night till Santa comes to wake me from my dreams. Oh, why? Cause that's Christmas to me. I recently did a video with Pentatonix as Miranda and had a voice lesson thing. Go check it out. You can click on the palm trees for that video. For some reason, it was really hard for me to get through that video without laughing. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was them or me or the weather that day, what it was, but we just could not stop laughing and we had a lot of fun. Next, I'm calling Scott Hoi Inc. from the Pentatonic. Hello, this is your mother. Get home right now, or else. Oh my god, I know exactly who this is. Get home! Get home, you're grounded! I know what you did! You kicked the dog! I saw it! Get home! You're grounded! It sounds like you're at a party! No, I'm at a bar! Um, you can't be at a bar because the bars are for sinners. Fine. Stevie Wonder and Pentatonix, they did a tribute to Maurice White and before they even started singing and before Pentatonix started doing, you know, what they do, I was just slain. I was absolutely demolished before they even opened their fucking mouth just from them all standing on the stage together. Stevie Wonder is a legend. I just get happy seeing him on stage, still performing, still alive, still vibrant, and Pentatonix is just a damn, they're a block of cheese and I love cheese. So therefore, it's a good thing that they're a block of cheese because I could just eat them all day. That didn't sound right, but you know what I'm saying. I like cheese. They're cheese. I like Pentatonix. Number of times that I'm at a friend's house or a friend is at my house or someone's in my hotel room and I have to hold in my poop is simply unacceptable. Because here's the situation, right? You know if you walk into the washroom to drop a deuce, the person's like four feet from the door and they're gonna hear everything going on in there. So what do you do? You sit down and you do everything in your power to poop as silently as possible. You release and you hope for the best, you hope for the best, now what happens? <laughs> Betrayal by the booty. This ish is louder than dial up internet. This ish be sounding like Skrillex's next album. And you're just like, damn it, everyone is hearing my biology. With your newfound confidence, you walk out the washroom, you see your friend, Nothing's wrong, everything's fine. You're like, see, we're all adults here. Until next week, you borrow your friend's phone and you see your name is saved as Poopatonix. <laughs> Yo, why we gotta sign up for Apple Music? Yo, we got it, it's booty. Please. I know exactly what it is. Because you just made that video where you kissed that guy. Please check it out. And then you're I was like, like you, know you want, you're jealous. Oh, I thought it was jealous. You're a little no, jealous. No, I'm not jealous of who. Uh, <laughs> Grammy Award winning Pentatonix, yeah. <laughs> Pentatonix first found some success winning the reality show The Sing Off, but have gone on to use YouTube to grow their audience and have arguably become one of the most successful people that have crossed over from the internet. On YouTube, they have over 7 million subscribers and over 800 million views. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> but they also perform on television, they tour the world, and they put out a Christmas album at the end of 2014 that was the number four top selling album in all of music the entire year. Oh, oh my god. Or D, singing in an all squirrel a cappella group called Rodentatonics. Ho oh, ho ho! Give them a Grammy. <laughs> you earn a Grammy. They are not giving. Okay. Happy birthday. <clears throat> oh crud, Link. They're gonna be in Florida. In They're in the Atlanta. South. Atlanta. They're touring the South. They're they're still playing. Do you think they sing that uh, Carmen San Diego song when they play? I hope not. I think that they're plotting to kill Pentatonix. 
Do you think it's one of those groups that, uh... Look at these platinum records just sitting over here on a wall. How dare you, Ben? You need to hang these up, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is insanely cool. So this is Pentatonix, that's Christmas to me. This, so you produced this. Yes. It has honestly my all time favorite Christmas song, which is Mary Did You Know. Oh yeah. The arrangement, everything is like, it's my all time favorite. Have you heard the new one with strings? No, I haven't. We did a new version for the deluxe version of this. Oh really? And we added strings to Mary Did You Know. Hey guys, it's Mia from PTX Updates, and I'm back. If you don't know who I am, you guys are probably like, what is this girl doing in this video? But what I mean I'm back is that I had the chance to collab with Tori, this channel you're watching on right now, for the second time. She's absolutely amazing, and she's so talented and hardworking. It was so much fun to collab with her. But if you don't know who I am, I am Mia from PTX Updates. I'm most known for my PTX birthday videos and other PTEX related videos on my channel and also videos of myself. I was in Tori's other video that we collabed on and it's called Evolution of Mitch Brassi's Tattoos. That video took a while and it was fun but this one was just in and easy. Since I liked her video for um, celebrities talking about pentatonics, I suggested that we do a part two and I came up with a few YouTubers and a few celebrities and we just went in and got all those videos and pictures and now it's here for you guys so hope you guys like that video check out my channel link will be in the description subscribe to this channel give this video a like and comment down below what you liked about this video and what celebrity we probably missed that talked about pentatonics it'll be great to hear your feedback about the video also so thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys soon bye <laughs>